Hi, I'm George, and this is How to Trim Video in Adobe Premiere Elements. Now, I have a couple of video tracks down here. First one looks like that. I'll just scrub back and forth like that. It's pretty boring at the beginning. I'll just play it from the beginning here. Nothing really happening much in there. Car is kind of hidden. Comes around the corner, and it's okay from about here down to the rest of the video. That's not too bad. Nice little car driving through. We lose it there for one second, but it's not too bad. So about half of this clip is usable. On our second clip down here, let's take a look at this one. This one's real nice, it just zips through. That's about all we really need on that one. A lot of ending stuff in there. Okay, let's see if we can trim this down and make it a better combined clip. First off, I have these big gaps in here at the beginning and at the end. We need to remove those gaps, they're not needed. Easy to do, just come over here, put your cursor over the gap, right click and choose delete and close. There you go. Same thing over here, right click, delete and close. And there it is, we've now got rid of those two gaps. Now there are a couple of different ways of trimming video. The first one is to find where you want to have your cut point. Let's say I wanted to have it right about right about here. That's pretty good. Notice there's a little scissors icon right there. If I click that, it then cuts that clip into two clips. There's my second clip, and here's the first clip right here. So I can now take this and put it someplace else. Let's say I want to move this up here onto video two like that. I can now hide video two, click on this little icon right there, hide that one, and I then have just this one clip showing. This is really useful if you want to maybe use this clip someplace else in the future. So you just have it saved in here. You can then put it someplace else in your video if you need that. So cutting the clip into two pieces so you can use it in different ways in your video, that's probably the best way to go. If you really want to get rid of this, just select this. I'll click outside, then click on it, hit the delete key, and you can then delete that clip. That's one way to go. I'm just use the control Z key here and I'll back up a couple of steps. There we go. The other way is easier, but it does delete that clip. Let's look over here to the beginning and see how the icon changes right there. When you see that icon change, the cursor change, just drag from that point and pull the playhead through to the point that you want to start at. Let's say I want to start right here. Let go. That automatically cuts off that bit of video, trims it at that point, and there you go. So it's that easy to do if you know you want to get rid of that piece. That works great. On this second clip over here, I know I don't want to have much after that point, right about there. So I have some debris flying in here. It kind of calms down right there. I don't need anything else past this point. Nothing in here is going to be useful in the future. So I'll do that same trick. Just grab the right side. Notice there's that icon change right there. Grab the right side and just pull that backwards until you get to that trim point, which is right here. I have my playhead at it, so that's easy to spot. There you go. It then trims off that bit of video and it leaves me with that short video. Let's now see how this looks combined. I'll just use this button here. This goes back to the previous clip point. A couple of clicks are back to the beginning. Hit the play button and we'll see how that goes. Okay. That's all fine. We've gotten rid of all the bad beginning stuff in here. We then cut right to our next clip right there. And then we're out of that clip. I could even come in here and drag from the end of this clip here. Select your clip like that. Just click on it. Come in here. Grab it. And I can then pull out that bit. Notice I see my end point on the other video up there. I can then find the exact out point I want right here. Let's say I want it right there. Let go. It then trims that end piece out, closes the gap, and we then have a nice clean edit. So there it is. That's how to trim video in Premiere Elements. A couple ways to do it. It really depends on if you want to save that one piece to use someplace else. In that case, position your playhead and use the split button here to split that video piece and save that one. Or if you don't want to save it, just drag from the ends. If you want to keep a piece just in the middle, just drag in from both ends. Okay, if you like this video, make sure you check out my channel for more videos like this. And also check out my complete training for Premiere Elements. There's a link for that right down there in the description. And I'll see you next time.